74,000 years ago, humanity almost vanished, reduced to just a few thousand individuals teetering on the brink of extinction. What could cause such a catastrophe? Not a predator, not a disease. It was something far bigger. Imagine a clear blue sky. Suddenly, day turns to night. Not for an hour, but for six long years. A colossal supervolcano, Mount Toba in Indonesia, had erupted with the force of a million atomic bombs. It was the largest eruption in the last 25 million years. A thick blanket of ash choked the atmosphere, blocking out the sun. Global temperatures plummeted by as much as 15 degrees Celsius, triggering a volcanic winter that lasted for decades. Acid rain poisoned the rivers and lands, plants withered and died. Animals that our ancestors relied on for food starved to death. Across the planet, small bands of early humans huddled in caves, watching their world freeze over. They were starving, freezing, and their numbers were dwindling fast. Every sunrise was a question. Would they survive another day? The air was toxic, the ground was barren. For a time, it looked like humanity's story was over. But here's the unbelievable part. Genetic studies of our DNA show a massive bottleneck right around this time. This means that everyone alive today is descended from that small, incredibly resilient group of survivors. A handful of people who endured the longest winter imaginable. They faced the apocalypse and refused to give in. Every person you know, every city, every invention, all of it exists because they held on. Think about that. We are all descendants of survivors who stared down extinction. And what's truly terrifying is that under the Earth's crust, other supervolcanoes are still sleeping, waiting, and they are far from the only threat that nearly wiped our story from the planet.